Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Yashallah. Call Elohim La, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Bahasham, Harakako, Dash, for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwa that's keeping the faith in the works. Y'all keep at it. This your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. It's the book of Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. All right. <clears throat> that mourning is getting worse and worse with each each month that goes by, each day that goes by, and the price of everything continuously going up, and the individuals who can do something about it becoming more and more heartless, right, because they are the wicked, um, the righteous um, don't run no major companies in this world, um, all of the major companies in this world, 2nd Ezra 6 and 9 for Esau, it's the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Uh, all of the major companies in this world are ran by the wicked. Right? Job 9, 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right? So we don't own nothing. Therefore, all of the people are mourning, and it, it's prophesied to get worse and worse and worse because the, uh, the, the individuals that run this place are becoming worse and worse and worse. Right, <clears throat> verse seven in Proverbs chapter twenty nine: The righteous considereth the cause of the poor, but the wicked regardeth not to know it. Right, they don't give a damn that you know people are barely getting by check to check. They could care less, uh, you know, about the the state of people, regular individuals in this world. They gonna, they don't care because they understand that their big businesses will will stand. Uh, either way it goes, right? Uh, so, with that being said, I'm going to let this video play. I'll be back. A frantic manhunt for the man authority spotted on this surveillance video shooting and killing Brian Thompson, the CEO of United Healthcare. Police said it was no accident. Every indication is that this was a premeditated, pre-planned, targeted attack. The gun appears to have a silencer and jammed. When the shooter cleared it, police say he fired again. From watching the video, it does seem that he's proficient in the use of firearms as he was able to clear the malfunctions pretty quickly. All units be advised in regards to a confirmed male shot in the confines of Midtown North. Police say it was around 6.45 a.m. Wednesday when the suspect, pictured at a Starbucks before the shooting, gunned down Thompson as he was walking alone into the Hilton for an investor's conference. And in new video overnight, the shooter seen here about 20 minutes before the shooting. They're looking for a male, about 5 feet, 10 inches in height. Cream-colored jacket, black mask, black gloves. It does seem this eyewitness snapping a picture of the suspect as he fled. I was shocked, you know, and I, I feared that he could shoot me too. By the time police arrived, the suspect had run off and hopped a bicycle to get away. The He's raised bad news this morning for Chipotle customers. The burrito chain announced Wednesday that it has raised prices by about 2%. The company says inflation is to blame. Key ingredients such as dairy, beef, and avocado have Bad news this morning for Chipotle customers. The burrito chain announced Wednesday that it has raised prices. Yeah, just raise the prices again. What are those idiots going to do? <laughs> you know, on second thought. Yeah, just raise the prices again. What are those idiots going to do? <laughs> you know, on second thought. <laughs> so, I mean, they joking, but, you know, yeah, the people, it's prophesied for the people to get like that. Um, matter of fact, let me go to Second Ezra. Uh, second Ezra chapter fifteen, <laughs> and uh, verse fourteen says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands." For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, 
They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Just like, you know, old boy who did what he did. Um, he didn't really give a damn about no, um, no laws, has it? You know, and it was, it was by dude being the CEO of an insurance company, I'm sure it was one of them issues to where he been paying on insurance like we all do. And it's hidden stipulations in them insurance clauses that they don't tell you. Right. And he probably really needed insurance and, you know, probably got told, you know, basically fuck off. And, uh, you know, that was the end result. Like the movie John Q. <clears throat> John Q, the movie, um, Denzel watched the movie. Well, you know, he had a job working at the plant. And, you know, they take money out of your check every time you get a paycheck. Insurance is taking money out of your check. And he got... His son ended up, you know, getting injured or really had like a a, a heart problem. Yeah, something, something was going on with his heart. And, you know, his son ended up in the emergency room and ended up in the hospital. And he needed a heart transplant. And, then, you know, the insurance company was basically, basically like, you know, it is what it is. You know, we're not going to cover that, even though. You know, the, the insurance company that he was dealing with was a million-dollar company. The the hospital that he went to, you know, was a, you know, billion-dollar hospital that had top surgeons that, you know, could have did it for the free if, if they wanted to. But, you know, when the wicked bears rule. <clears throat> so, Second Ezra chapter 15 and... Verse 16 again, for there shall be sedition among men and invade one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able for because of their pride, right? Because of their pride. Now, there's so much that these people can do for this world if they were the righteous, but because they are the wicked, they refuse, right? Because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right? There it is. It's going to get worse because of the lack of bread. All right? And for great tribulation. So... With that man, um, yeah, uh, the door of Babylon is clearly falling, and the people are, you know, fed up with it. Uh, matter of fact, let me go to Isaiah chapter forty-seven. Uh, let me see. Uh, Isaiah 40, uh, forty-seven, and um, let me see. Mm. Verse 8 Therefore I hear now this Thou that art given to pleasures That dwellest carelessly That sayest in thine heart I am and none else besides me I shall not sit as a widow Neither shall I know the loss of children Speaking about the daughter of Babylon said, But these two things shall come to thee In a moment in one day The loss of children and widowhood That shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchant enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Right? This place just don't feel like ain't nothing going to go wrong. Ain't nothing going to go wrong. You know? They can boost up the prices as high as they want. What, what the hell are the people going to do? They ain't going to do nothing. They ain't going to do nothing but you know, throw, throw a Super Bowl in the way. Throw an NBA championship in the way. Throw a movie in the way or throw a concert in the way. But it's going to get to a point to where ain't nobody going to be giving a damn about no football game. And no one is going to care about a damn movie. Right? And it's going to be because of the lack of bread. Because <clears throat> if you live in paycheck to paycheck, man, them hard times. 
So imagine if the prices are constantly going up, but your paycheck staying the same. Right? That means that paycheck ain't going to be enough. Oh, man. Uh, you know, to cover what you need. Let me see. Let me finish this up right quick. It says Isaiah 47 and 10. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, none seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am and none else besides me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth. And mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly. Which thou shalt not know. Right? As thus says the Lord. Right? Seeing as though you want to be operating in wickedness the way you do. Then the Most High is going to, you know, basically um, put the paws on you. <laughs> All right. Um, let me see. What am I looking for? Revelation 6 and 6. Uh, in the NET. All right, Revelation 6 and 6 in the NET says, Then I heard something like a voice from, from among the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat will cost a day's pay, and three quarts of barley will cost a day's pay. But do not damage the olive oil and the wine. Right, Revelation 6 and 6 in the NET. So once you get to that point, well, then a loaf of bread costs a whole day's pay. No one is going to give a damn about a game. At that point, it's all hell breaking loose. So this what we're saying about this CEO, tip of the iceberg, man. All right? Small, little, just a drop in the bucket of what's coming to the daughter of Babylon. All right? So with that, man, how about you, man? I'll shout out to all these precepts in this video were edifying. Call on Loyam La, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Harakakudash, Shalom, Yasha, Allah. Just raise the prices again. What are those idiots going to do? <laughs> you know, on second thought. Yeah.